Hello everyone, this video I will show you our COLB logical controller and have the new firmware for update so that you can use this to your application and the remote monitor the sensor state, the analog sensor and the digital sensor and the temperature sensor by this to your application so you can see I have this to your application and the smart life application these two apps all can support this COLB you can see here, I have the COLB that have connect with the 4G, my mobile phone, so that you can remote monitor the sensor state. I can click COLB and you will see uh, this have three pages. You can see here, that is for digital input, analog input, and for the temperature sensor. So you can see that is 16 channel digital input. So you can see if I have used that one shot to the ground and the digital input and you will see that will be turned green that this channel if I have changed this channel another channel you can see here that is uh, turn green and I remove this that will be disconnect so that you can monitor your dry contact sensor and you can see here I can change to analog input so you can see that is the analog input uh, you can see here also is 16 channel you can click this button and you can set the name the sensor name and the mini value and the max value and the unit the unit you can see I can change to volt if I can click save you can see so that the first channel is the, this one and the second channel, you can also edit by yourself if you have connect with a water level sensor. So you can just input what level. And the max maybe have 2 meter or 3 meter, it's just according to your sensor range. And this is the meter, we can input M. So you can press C and wait for a moment and you can see now this is the second sensor that name is changed for water level and the unit is changed to meter so this date will feedback from this CLB okay let's look at the next page that is the temperature as you can see I have connected three DS18B20 temperature sensor have connected with this CLB Actually, it can max support 5 channel, but I have connected 3 channel. You can see the sensor, sensor date, if I hold down uh, in my hand, and the temperature will become high. And if you have enabled this auto refresh, that every 5 seconds will update the sensor state. You can see this channel, this sensor, is temperature is up. So, this is how to use this two-year application. And also we can close this window and you can create the sense mode that makes the automation so that you can use this create automation if the CLB that have digital input 16 digital input used for triangle so you can use such as a input uh, just a digital input tool you can you can set to when on and when off and the triangle which to your product is output for really on and really off such as this can work with H32B or H32B Pro so this is how to use this to your application and let your mobile phone can remote monitor your sensor state by the internet okay now I will show you how to update the firmware and how to update the bin file step by step and you can see here I have upload the details on the web page in our form and uh, very long because the new firmware have big update so the files will be big so that will be long steps but I take a video I think you can understand easily after you update the firmware you can see that is 2.4 version that you can let your Ethernet you can enable TCP server or TCP client and MQTT and the Tuya at the same time. This is a big update because before old version, you can just use the Ethernet or use the Wi-Fi for different work mode. But this time, 
you can enable all this protocol by the Ethernet because we suggest you the Ethernet. The Ethernet is many is stable. Okay, let's look at how to do with it. And uh, the first step we need to open this box. You can see here. I can open this box. Open this metal box, uh, let power off firstly. And uh, you can see here. And this is CPU, this is main CPU. So we can see here. Just to make sure you have used this CPU and this is for download interface. This is 3, 2, F, 4, 0, 3. And then you need a G-Link. You can see this is G-Link. And we will use these cables, just the four cables have connect with it. Just uh, you can connect with it. Uh, if you want to see clearly, you can see uh, this form have this photo is very clearly. Okay, that will be clearly. We just use this interface and download the firmware to this CPU chip. We need to do two steps. The first step, we need to download the bootload because the bootload is updated. And the second, we need to download the bin file. So this is a bin file and this is put load. I have already downloaded in my computer. And we can go on. And just use this cable. Have connect with this way. And then you can open this software. So just uh, open this one. ICP program. Uh, this driver you need to install firstly because my computer have already installed. The first you need to install this driver and then you can open this exe file and uh, now we can see i can choose this g-link then you can use your usb cable and connect with this g-link and this usb and connect with your computer and now you can see this g-link is a green LED is on and we need to let the power connect with this CLB and the CLB will red LED will be on and now you can see I can use this cable use my hand and the white the white is ground so you can see I can just like this just like this I can use my hand finger to fix this cable and see my computer. Then we can add this file, add this bootloader hex file. I can delete because I have already add. You can press this add and just choose this bootloader file and open. And you will see here that is load the file and choose the G-Link and click connect. And you can see here with Vermont. And this is a chip, CPU chip that is auto detect. We click OK. And this, you need to check this one, uh, disable the protection and press OK because we need to erase the chip. OK, now you can click this download and make sure. You have choose this action and this option and this option also is checked and click start download. So that will be very easy. Just wait for a moment. Okay, you can see that is successfully. So you can click close and close not needed to use this software and remove your cable and the G-Link is not needed to use just move out after you update the firmware of the bootload we can go out uh, this all have already done then you need to download this 
bottleload. That is by this S232, this part. And you will prepare this USB convert to S232. So you can connect with this interface. And this connect with your compute. Now you can just click device manager and you will see this is the cable USB to S232 that is COM3. So this time we can download this bin file and ready to update by this software. So you can see here just this one, we can open it and you can see here that is COM3. Just click open and ready to press this button. But be careful, that must need a power on and click this button right now. So you can see, I can click on and press right now. You can see that will detect, go to bootload, OK. And now you can click the file just we have downloaded and this bin file. Click open and press this download. Now the freeware began download to this CLB. Just wait for a moment. Okay, now you can see that is complete. Then you must click this run. I click and wait for a moment. This will be reboot. And after reboot, you can see the red LED is blink. That, that is running. So this is complete. You can close your metal box for your CLB. You just you can begin to use. We can use this scan device tool. Close this one and click. And this is my internet and scan. And you will see that have detected this IP address. I can use this IP address lodged in my web browser. So this you can log in by this CLB. And now you can see the web page is different. So that has many options. If you want to use the TCP server, because you want to use the PC software, you can enable this, this button. And also you can enable the Tuya. And the Tuya needed your Tuya license to use. So that you can choose this uh, different server. And when you have the product, product ID and device ID and the secret and the code, then that will auto-generate the QR code because that needs to buy from Tuya. And also you can buy from the license from Kinkoni. So you can see after you input this all information that will auto-generate this QR code. So you just use your mobile phone, scan this QR code, you can uh, use the Tuya application. So you can see I can enable this one and I have used the Tuya because I'm in China. So that is China and import this, I have used the lessons. Uh, maybe you have used the Central Europe or Western US, just according to your Tuya account. That, then you can buy a Tuya lessons uh, for your local server. And you can see, I can click save, then I can log again. And you will see, uh, this have generated a QR code. And now you can use your mobile phone. You can see I can use this. So I can delete this one firstly. I show you how to add to the Tuya application. Remove it. Okay. Now you can see I can press this add device and press this scan QR code. And you can see I can scan this QR code. So you can see, I have added this CRB to your application. I can just click down. And you can see, you can use the digital input and log input and this temperature sensor. And this time, you can use this to your application. Now I will show you how to use this TCP server and this to your at the same time. This is my IP address and this is a part. So I can also use this software of the PC. So you can click this one 
And this is software for CLB. We can let it large. And I can just input the IP address of this box. And the port is 4196 and click connect. And press this monitor. And we will see this state. Let's test it. And here we can see that is our mobile phone. And I shot for this. You can see as uh, the mobile phone that have turned green. And the PC software also is turned green. So that can use at the same time by this Ethernet. When I shot, you can see turn green. When I release, that is recover. So you can see I can shoot for any digital input that will be turn green, both at the mobile phone and at this PC software. The PC software is using local network. And the Tuya application that is used for the 4G for remote, remote monitor. OK, uh, this is how to update your CLB logical controller firmware and support the two-way application. OK, thanks for watching.